Hey guys, Buckskin Dave here. Get you a cup of coffee. We gotta start out with some coffee. Black Rifle coffee. Anyway, so I was looking through this uh, new Muzzle Blast magazine and look what they gave us. The Target. So, this one here says it's 25 yard, it's supposed to be shot prone, it's five shots. There's five bullseyes. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna take this out of the magazine and put it in my, I have a file that I keep all different targets in. Uh, some of them are for long range targets and some of them are, you know, like sniper targets with a good guy and a bad guy on it and, and uh, different types of targets like that. And I'm going to put this one in there. So I'll always have a copy of it in my deal. What I've done is made some copies too. So I thought I'd give this a try. I'm not going to shoot it prone. Um, I ain't getting up and down. <laughs> but I will shoot it off a bench at 25 yards. And uh, it's pretty precise. So we'll have to have the rifle kind of tuned in and at 25 yards we'll have to know what our what our uh, sight picture is going to look like to put that ball right there in that uh, 5 ring, 5x ring. So uh, get your cup of coffee, sit back, relax, and let me do some work. And then uh, I think before we're done today too I'm going to throw some out of the Gemmer. Um, just because I haven't shot it in a while and I told you I was going to shoot it next time you saw me. So. Get the coffee, stand by, let's go have some fun and make some smoke. So, okay, if you guys are shooting this um, to send in, it's kind of a little contest, you know, through the mail contest type thing. Um, if, you're, if you're doing that, then you are going to need to do it from a prone position. I'm not doing that, I'm just playing with it and I'm practicing it, and so... Uh, I'm just going to do it from a bench. It's kind of a rested position too. Anyway, um, so one of the other things, just an interesting note, I went and uh, measured the balls that I made the other day <clears throat> uh, with the balls um, that uh, I bought from uh, commercial balls, you know. Uh, I think they're Hornady's. Anyway, uh, they weigh exactly the same, so I must have got my lead tin mix pretty close. So, anyway, I'm going to try the first shot at this. I'm going to try it at the bullseye that's at the rear end of the rabbit, back end of the rabbit. So let's try that one first. I'm using my 50 grain 3F load and a um, 18 gram. <laughs> uh, round ball 58 caliber and man are those little targets tiny at this distance anyway here we go for shot number one nice okay up and down, I got it just right. It went a little to the left, and if I remember correctly, this gun was shooting a little to the left. So instead of correcting the sights, I'm going to shoot the next five shots and uh, try to correct it um, with good old Ken Tuck, and let's see how that goes. Okay, so if I was shooting this in a competition, uh, I wouldn't have a chance to fix my sights. So I'm going to try to fix it using a little Kentucky and we'll see what happens and hopefully um, I didn't pull it off to the left. So let's see what happens. Alright, this one will be the top. Okay, 
that went high and uh, my correction didn't help. <clears throat> I may have still shot a nine on it, but I didn't get it in the X. All right, let's do, we got three more. Okay, so there's one target on there, or one bullseye that's on the head of that rabbit and it's really tiny. And I think if I was shooting this for a score like the competition, I would probably do that one first. This way if your gun gets a little dirty and doesn't shoot quite on center like you want it to, um, you know, as it gets dirty, it doesn't shoot quite on center, at least your first shot at the smallest target uh, would have been with a clean barrel. So if you think that makes any difference for you. But let's go and try shot number three here and see what happens. I'm going to do shot number three on that head, uh, head deal and see how that goes. Oops. All right. We'll go take a look. Okay, I can't see that one because it's black, so <coughs> I'm going to go take a peek. You guys want to come? Come on. Okay, so the first shot I got a nine. Second shot I broke the edge, I got a nine on this one. The shirt, third shot I broke the, I broke the 5X, so I got a 5X on that one. Um, my aiming point was just below the nose, so should I adjust my sights, I gotta move it a little bit to the right. Up and down, I just got at 25 yards, gotta aim about that much low because this gun is on at 100. So I have two more shots here and here. So let's see how I can do. So never pass up an opportunity to check your patching. I just happened to find this one on the way back. Sometimes they're hard to find, but they're usually within 10, 10 feet of the muzzle. This one has no tears. Um, the powder's perfect around the edge. This is what you want your patch to look like. If I put a little grease on this, I could use it again if I wanted to. Um, that's what you want your patch to look like. These are 015s. This rifle works with the 015 patch. So, um, Unless I use those bullets that I made. If I use the ones that I made, then we're going to be uh, we're going to be looking into 010 patches. They seem to shoot better with them uh, ones that I cast. So, all right, this one's the one in the rabbit body, and let's see if we can get another 10. That was something wrong with that. That one went way wrong. <laughs> so this was the one I was aiming for this point here. And as you can see, it came up really weird. This one, it was, uh, I need to get my right and left off because it's kind of hard to get the right and left right. I've got my, I've got my up and down okay on these three shots. They would all been fives had the left or right been on. Anyway, that's kind of a fun deal. Um, I'm going to keep this target and I'm going to shoot another one and see if there's any imp improvision. This must have just been, a, it's either a flyer or I pulled it and I have no idea why. Um, I didn't feel like I pulled it. So I got nine, uh, 18, um, 10, so that's 28. 
37 points out of 50. <laughs> Missing that one sure hurt, didn't it? All right, I'm gonna shoot some more. Oh, that was kind of fun. Okay. So, I'm gonna shoot some more at that. I, I put up a fresh target. Let's see if we can do any better. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. It's in the nine, I believe. Last shot. So I've got three nines and a complete miss. Uh, so, I mean, it was close, but it's still a miss. Um, and the one that I took on the body shot, boy, it was almost a 10, but it wasn't. So I'm going to shoot the last one and see if I can get a 5X on it. We'll see. Looks like I got a nine. Let's go look at them. I think I did worse with this one. Shot one is, well, I'll take a 10 on that. It's cracked the line. So that's a 10. That's a nine. There's 19. This one's a complete miss. This one's a nine, so 28. And another nine. Uh, 30 what? Seven. Well, that sucks. You can't have a miss, and you can't not. So you got to get those. Pretty eye-opening. No wonder I couldn't cut the string with that rifle. Uh, it's kind of tough to keep them in there. So uh, definitely good for hunting. And uh, I'll shoot some more of these. These are fun to practice. Let's go shoot the Gemmer for a little bit. Okay guys, I'm going to take the first shots off of the Idaho shooting bench here. Just to make sure the sight's still where it's supposed to be. And then we'll shoot some offhand. Just because I like doing that every once in a while. So we're using our 520 grain bullet. So, let's give it a go. All right. Okay. Well, it looks like we know what our aiming point is. Let's do another one off the uh, Idaho shooting bench. That one, uh, it went right in the green circle, so, and that's 100 yards. So, this one's, this one's good at 100. I mean, I'm going to always take a rested shot at game. Uh, I just like to shoot offhand because it gets you, get your muscle memory, well, not muscle memory, but your muscles used to holding it steady out there. Let's try another one off the bench here, though. Here we go. Nice. Cool. Well, it's nice to know this thing hasn't changed much. She's still shooting the way it's supposed to. Cool. I really like this rifle. This is, I want to try to do some elk hunting with this rifle this year, if I can. Um, it's going to be fun. So anyway, like I said before, the best way to carry these rounds is some extra ones in a pocket on this side. So reloading is just as fast as sticking one in there closing it up. All right, I'm going to try an offhand shot. See how we go.
Whoa! Guess I'm not as good offhand today. Let's try another. Here we go. There we go. Just hadn't done it in a while. Well, I'm going to shoot a little bit more. I've got four or five here that I can shoot. And, uh, and, uh, but those targets were kind of fun. Um, I'm going to do a little more practicing with those. Uh, you know, if a guy shot. A target every time he shot, that's five shots, uh, can't hurt, and I guess you can, I think they shoot those offhand, although that one stated it was supposed to be shot from a prone position, but I think a lot of the matches on those targets that the uh, National Muzzleloader Rifle Association has, um, I think there's a lot of them are shot offhand at 25 yards, so that's, uh, that's kind of a fun target, so... If you're not, if you're a member of the National Rifle, National Muzzleloader Rifle Association, you get muzzle blasts, and you already have that target. It's in your magazine this year, uh, issue, so um, pull it out and try it. It was kind of fun. I enjoyed it. That's all I got this time. Um, I'll see you next time. I'm Buckskin Dave. Thanks for joining me for a cup of coffee. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.